what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A heated argument between a father and son turned violent, and neighbors say the 53-year-old father shot his 14-year-old son to death. Wendell Melton has been charged with open murder, along with other charges. Neighbors say they heard a disturbance, they started listening intently, and they heard a gunshot. That's apparently when the father shot the son, his 14-year-old son, Giovanni. Now, police also say that they don't know what the motive was. Friends, family members have speculated that the reason that the father shot the son, or one of the reasons why he shot his son was because he was gay. They say the father absolutely despised the fact that his son was gay. And he had abused the son physically and verbally for years, so much so that the boy had to be once taken out of the home and put in foster care. I don't know why they returned him to his father. But I'm going to tell you something, man. You do your best that you can with your child, and, and then you let them live. Kid 14 years old, by this time, they kind of know what they like. And if that's where your child is, what can you really do about it? I mean, what can you really, really do about it to prevent them? That's a, that's a tough life, man. I don't care what nobody say. That's a tough life for the person that's got to go through it because, man, Society hard as hell on that lifestyle. I don't care how they try to normalize it. I don't see how people can kill their own children, though. This is someone you held. This is someone you nourished. This is someone who you brought into the world. Damn. Damn. Your own child. So many people in America are killing their own children of all ages, just killing their children. I said it once, I said it again, man. If you don't want children, don't have them. Because all you can do, really, as a parent, as a loving parent is to love your child and give them the direction, give them the information that they can take with them to make good decisions in life and try to be productive members of society and actually try to give something back to the world. All you can do is give them your support, your love, commit, to being the best parent that you can be. And then you let them go and hopefully they'll use those directions that you gave them. And then you support and you support and you support and you support. That's all you can do. I can't, it's hard to imagine, man. I, I just can't imagine it. Uh, I know I've said many times that, you know, it's some, my, my child tried to, you know, disrespect me in some kind of way. You know, I ain't no telling I might snap. If I had some type of, like, brutal disrespect, you know, especially me being a father, a loving father, a caring father, a day one father, 
a day two, three, four, five, one hundred, one thousand. I'm there. I always have been. And I would I would feel really, really uh, I would be very angry. So but many of these these parents, man, they, they just jumping out there and they taking their kids out because they're crying too loud. Uh, they they ask for more to eat. They uh, bothered something in the house. Some of these babies, some of these kids are toddlers like babies. People taking their kids out. I don't even, I don't, I don't know how they do it. To me, for whatever reason that something like that was to happen, even if my child was trying to take me out and I took them out, it would just be something that would be very, very, very difficult to live with. I don't see how they do it. This guy, if he did take his child out because he was gay, That motherfucker need to burn in hell. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.